Hey guys, Justin here, and the topic I wanted to talk about today is how to control your emotions and stay centered and grounded. So this is one of the things that they don't really teach you in school, which I feel is really important. It's sort of just how you carry yourself as an adult. Now you don't have to do this all the time. I feel like it's important to sort of still keep your creative, vulnerable inner child within you somewhere. But I just wanted to sort of outline five things that will help you become more centered and emotionally grounded. So the first tip would be to become present to the moment. So being present means is you're sort of just enjoying your own mental movie and you're sort of just seeing what's out in front of you. If you were to be walking around thinking and in your head and something was to happen all of a sudden, you'd be more likely to sort of emotionally react. So you want to become more present and any activity that you have to focus on is going to help with that. The second tip would be to be non-judgmental. So you don't want to be walking around sort of thinking, I like that, I don't like that, that's good, that's bad, and sort of putting value judgments on everything. Because at the end of the day, the world is what it is. So you might as well just accept it. What a lot of people do, and this is just my opinion, is they create a little situation where they're sort of middle, middle high status, and their brain actually looks for evidence that can sort of justify or validate all the decisions that they've made in their life so that they can feel good about themselves. And anything that sort of conflicts with their little situation or their worldview will actually give them a bad emotional reaction. So you don't want to be coming from that frame, you sort of more just want to be coming from a non-judgmental frame. And that includes not judging yourself. You don't get to pick who you are, dude, so you might as well just accept yourself and go easy on yourself. The third tip would be to become more authentic. I don't know about you, but for me, if I'm not being completely honest, it's really hard for me to stay centered and emotionally grounded. The fourth tip would be to have some sort of purpose in life. Now I feel like the word purpose is thrown around a lot. You don't have to have some sort of grand purpose where you're going to be the person that cures cancer or something. Your purpose could literally be to watch every single movie that's ever been made and you can have the same sort of emotional benefits from just having a purpose. So let's say for example you were going for a drive and you were going for a drive to the shops and you had a mission. You had a sort of list of things that you had to buy and that was your focus. If someone was to cut you off in traffic, it might bother you for a second, but you're going to have to come back to your center and sort of refocus on all the things that you have to buy. Now let's say you were going for a drive and you had no purpose. You were just driving around in circles for absolutely no reason. If someone was to cut you off in traffic, you're going to be more likely to sort of emotionally react to it because you're not going to have a center to sort of come back to. There's a saying that says, the idle mind is the devil's playground. So you want to have some sort of goal or mission or focus in life. Now the kind of example of that could be that your purpose is to enjoy your drive, but you get my point right, you want to have some sort of focus. So the fifth tip would be to let go of fear. So first of all you're going to think, what are you afraid of? So is it a fear of failure, is it a fear of rejection, or is it a fear of death? And for me growing up I had this huge sort of fear of death where I just sort of, I couldn't wrap my head around not existing or not waking up the next day. And it was so scary for me, I would do anything that would sort of distract myself from the fact that I was going to die. So I remember I would wake up in the middle of the night and I'd start thinking about it and I would just turn my light on and just start reading a book and sort of push it down and do anything to distract myself. So once you've sort of addressed your fears and let go of that sort of stuff, you can become more emotionally grounded. Maybe a tip for doing that would be sort of just thinking that God's got your back or something and that way you'll have no fear. So if you're present, you're non-judgmental, you're authentic, you have a purpose in life and you don't have any fear, it's really easy to become emotionally grounded and centered and you can have all the benefits associated with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys next time.